So these home inspection franchises, they're inexpensive to buy, they're inexpensive to operate, but does it make sense to buy a franchise in this particular space? And can you actually make money? We're going to take a look at that today on Franchise City. So there's a few industries that we often get pushback from people because in their mind, if you're not getting a big brand like McDee's, there's really no value in buying a franchise model. And we get that with painting, we get that with cleaning, we get that with property management, and of course we get that with home inspections. But with these types of businesses, you aren't necessarily buying the branding. You're buying access to systems and processes that if they're good, and they not always are, are going to help make you more effective and more efficient, and that in the long run is going to make you more money. And there's things like client acquisition, business operations, quality standards, efficiencies, and dozens of other little things that can help you actually be more profitable in the long run, even after paying these royalties. That's kind of the point behind a franchise in general, but unfortunately, not all of these companies provide the same value. Now, with a good franchise, there's also a support structure in place. If you have questions or you get stuck, you can call someone and ask these questions. And while you might know how to paint, how to clean, or how to inspect a house, do you know how to scale a business, how to grow a business, most people do not, and that's why we see many independent contractors out there who are doing home inspecting who actually convert to a franchise model. So how does home inspection work? It's pretty straightforward. You or your employee receives training on how to inspect a house. They get certified by one of the governing bodies, then you or your employee help people, and these are usually home buyers, look for potential issues when they're buying a house. Typically, you're gonna look at the things like electrical, plumbing, basement and foundation, walls and windows, and you can add extra services like mold and radon testing for an additional fee. Now, the average home inspection, not including any extras, is right now about $315 for a single inspection. Many are going to charge more for these value-added services, and being the cheapest, isn't necessarily always the best strategic market positioning. That's a mistake many novice business owners make. But even $315 is not bad for a couple of hours of work. Now, the next question you're going to ask is, how many inspections would you be able to do in a day? So I headed over to the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors Forum. These are guys who know what they're talking about. And the general consensus was you could theoretically do up to five inspections a day if you worked ridiculously hard. Now, no one recommended it because you'd have no life. It's virtu virtually impossible to keep that up and your quality is certain to suffer. But five inspections a day times $315 times about 260 working days in a year, that would be $409,500 with a single person, not even considering hiring other inspectors and scaling up your business. Now, because these are work from home gigs, your expenses and your operational costs are very, very low. So a decent amount of that gross revenue goes right into your pocket. Now, even if you took it easy, you performed only two inspections a day, you're still going to be grossing over $150,000 a year. Now, before we look a little more closely at the franchise model, let's look at the forum comment again. So he says, I did five inspections once in a day this year. It is too many. I regularly do four, and even that is hard as well. Performing in the inspection isn't the issue. It is producing the reports as you quickly fall behind volume. So here is a key point. If you have technology that can speed up the process of making these reports, you can do more inspections in a day. And that's the reason people buy a home inspection franchise because among other things, they have systems, processes, and technologies that can help you be more efficient. And when you're more efficient, you can make more money. So when people come to us to help them find the best home inspection franchise or any other franchise for that matter, the service free, by the way, we walk people through the process looking at many factors to find the best situation for you specifically. We're gonna cover a few of those things we look at today. So the first, as we just mentioned, is the technology. There's companies that actually have the ability to complete the vast majority of the report right there on site while you're doing the inspection. And that enables the inspector to do many more inspections per day. There's a few other technology considerations we won't go into here, but you'll want to drill down on the inspection technology they have and how much benefit it brings to you. And the end of the day, does it justify the royalties you're going to pay? 
Next up is customer acquisition. Some franchise buyers gravitate to home inspection as an industry because they like the solo operation. They're a lone wolf out there in the field. They might be a little bit introverted, not very socially outgoing. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly fine. As long as that company is doing the lead generation for you, the client acquisition. And some franchises rely very heavily on local networking. So you're going to need to be hanging out at the real estate agent's office, buying donuts, regularly schmoozing to get that business. Now, if you're a people person, that's not a problem. But always make sure that the client acquisition model matches your personality and your operational preferences. Now, speaking of operational preferences, does the franchise allow for part-time operation? We've got many people that are just looking to do a few inspections a week while they still keep their job. They do a couple here or there after work or on weekends. It's a great way to make some extra income. Now, some franchises will not allow part-time and some will. And this type of strategy allows you to start a business while you're still working, have a bit of a safety net there. Then once you build up a client base, you feel a bit more secure. You can actually quit that soul destroying nine to five job. Training and support. This is huge. What does their training and support look like? Do they have mentors and trainers that are going to help you ramp up in that critical first 90 day period? What is the experience of the trainers? Do they have hands-on experience themselves? Do they include jumpstart marketing programs that are going to help you get clients in the door? Really look closely at what's included. Now, many people just buy the first home inspection franchise they find and they might regret it later when they found out, wow, there was a better option out there. Some are better than others, but that's going to depend on your specific goals. Next up is territory size. So a big decision with any franchise is whether to buy a highly established or an emerging newer brand. And most people think that going with the big established franchise is the way to go. And there's really no right or wrong answer. But while highly established brands might have more established systems and processes in place, that's not always the case. But with highly established franchises, you're often not getting your choice of the prime territories. Those are all gone. Or there may not even be territory available in your area. Now, with newer franchise brands, you can often negotiate larger territory sizes and even potentially operate outside of your territory until they place a franchisee there. Now, the first thing that we do here is conduct a territory check to see what brands are available in your area, which ones are sold out, so you're not wasting your time. Next up, very important also, is what is the strategic market benefit this brand brings? So yes, real estate is booming right now. Yes, the home inspection market is booming. But with that success, always comes competition. So if you're going to be competing with many under many other independent contractors and franchise contractors in your territory, and you certainly will, you need some sort of a strategic market advantage. Now that can be competitive pricing, faster reports, value adds thrown in for free, more experience. There's many ways to differentiate yourself in the market. So be sure the franchise you buy reflects the market that you're going to be serving. Additionally, if your preference is to scale up and grow, starting off as one person, getting two employees, four employees, eight employees, etc., you eventually are going to outgrow your territory and want to expand. With highly established brands, that can potentially not be possible. So always consider your future plans when you're looking at a franchise. So how much does a home inspection franchise cost? Well, all in total investment ranges from around 35,000 to up over 100,000, again, depending on a number of variables. We suggest buyers realistically have access to about $50,000, but each franchise will have their own minimum requirements. Are there any drawbacks to this business? Now, there's drawbacks in any business, but in home inspection, you need to have a strong strategy for client acquisition. That's the backbone of the business. And if you don't have online lead generation available and you aren't extroverted, you're going to have a difficult time. Again, make sure you have a market differentiator as competition is fierce in this space. And last but not least, if you plan on running this business yourself, be prepared to do some dirty work. Not every house is going to look like this. Some are going to look like this. 
You should also be comfortable with heights as you're going to be up on roofs of houses. Now for the right person, a home inspection franchise can be a great fit, especially at $400,000 a year. If you need help identifying and comparing home inspection or any other franchises, our service is 100% free. You can click above to learn more. Please like and subscribe and thanks very much for watching. You are listening to Franchise City, a better way to buy franchise.